So I went on a date. And it was amazing. It was awesome. Let me start from the beginning. So this random boy messages me online. And we start talking online and that progresses to texting. Texting like 14 year old girls, if you will. And <clears throat> that led to phone calls. And that led to me summon, summoning the courage to ask him out on a date. And I did. So we went out on a date and it was amazing. Uh, it was comfortable. It was never any point did it feel forced or... Well, you know what? That's not true. There were a couple of times where it kind of felt like, okay, Gary, are you going to say something? Because this boy's been doing all the talking. But after that, we came back to my house and we spent four hours talking. His life, my life, whatevs. And right away, from the very beginning, I told him, I'm moving to California in six to eight months. And he was like, huh, I'm moving to California. My mother lives out there, my best friend lives out there, and I'm kind of over Chicago. I'm like, what? How is this even possible? How is this even working out? So, whatever. We had sex. Deal with it. I'm a whore. First time in two years, okay? So I'm not that much of a whore. Um, the best part was the next morning, just kind of laying there. A um, couple of days go by, we text, we call, we speak, whatever. We go on a second date. Things go horribly awry. So I decided we are going to go see a movie in the park. And uh, I invited tons of people. And I invited him, but he never really accepted right away. And so I invited my little brother. Well, then the guy accepts. And then my little brother's like, oh, so I'll meet you there. And I'm like, oh, crap. I wasn't really ready to share him with the world yet. Long story short, I got obliteratingly drunk. The movie started at 9 o'clock. At 9.44, this happened. Fasten your seat, Oh, I love it! We are now. <laughs> and that's the last thing I remember. I woke up at 6.30 in my room, in my house, alone, face down, going, what, 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 freaking out, freaking out. Um, there were two outgoing text messages uh, to him at 1.40 in the morning. So I text him at 6.30 in the morning. Um, apparently I shouldn't drink anymore. I don't remember anything that happened last night. Uh, I woke up and found two text messages to y you at 1.40, really hoping I didn't make an ass of myself. And then I go back to bed. At 9.45, Abe starts texting me. He's like, hey, I had really fun last night, thanks, blah, blah, blah. What'd you do after the movie? I'm like, I have absolutely no idea. Abe kind of fills me in. He's like, well, um, I left you with your brother. Everything was fine. And I'm like, yeah, what about the guy? And he's like, uh, he left before the movie ended. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, why did he leave? And he's like, oh, he got a phone call and he had to go. And I'm like, oh, thank God. Well, then I get to work. One of my coworkers is like, uh, no, he got up to make a phone call and never came back. I'm like, ooh, that's not the same thing. So I send the boy another text message at 2 in the afternoon. Um, I'm really sorry about last night. 
I'm starting to recall some things. I remember being a bit loud. I hope I wasn't annoying. I really am sorry. And then nothing. My brother calls me around 3 in the afternoon. He's like, how are you doing today? And I'm like, okay, why are you asking me that? What happened? Um, long story short, I peed on a tree. I yelled at some random faggot in the street. I paid for two different cabs because I demanded we not walk. Uh, all the while, the boy had long since left.